Hi there, welcome back to Gera's Free Horde Leveling Guide. In this part of this guide, we're going to be heading to the Barrens. First off, we're going to turn in the final water well cleansing quest that we didn't do before. We're also going to head and train a couple new spells that I forgot to do in my previous video, and I don't have enough money for that, which is retarded. The easiest way to get to the Barrens is head east from Bloodhoof Village, you'll get to Camp Tarajo, or Camp Taco as one of my friends once called it. Pick up the flight path there, then just head north to the crossroads. You should have two quests right here to go to the crossroads. It'll be really fun, really easy day. So here we are arriving at Camp Taco, which I'm going to call it in this video because Tarajo just sounds stupid. Here's the flight path right over here. This guy in the cage over here, he gives you quests to turn in these blood shards that you'll get. It's just for a small buff, not really that important. You don't get experience either. Journey to the crossroads. We're going to do that. And might as well get some rep over here. Okay, now that we've arrived at the crossroads, I have edited my mods a little bit, so they're a bit bigger and easier for, for you to see. I'm not going to bother explaining these drop rates. Just come here, accept every quest. A long time ago, until recent patch where quest helpers were shown clearly on the ma uh, quest givers were shown clearly on the mini map, I always, always missed this quest and it got me mad. There's a guy up here. He'll give you three quests to kill harpies. Don't forget that one. Don't forget the flight path either. We're gonna want that one. Okay, one of the quests by the blacksmith over there gives you a quest to talk to this guy. That was my fiftieth quest. I should have been filming that, but I wasn't. Oh well. Now that we've got every quest from the crossroads, we're going to go ahead and head northwest. And we're going to do two quests uh, at the uh, Forgotten Pools and Fungal Spores, right over here at this oasis. The Raptor Heads from Raptor Thieves Quest. The drop rate is 100%, which is always nice. Easy way to do this quest is if you have herbalism like I do, and you're tracking it, you'll sh you'll see these laden mushrooms. You're gonna want four of them. Very easy to do. To explore the forgotten pools to go to to get that quest objective, you see where these bubbles are coming from. That's an underground air fisher thing. Just go up to it, and you'll get the credit for the quest. There we go. So apparently for me, over here at the Forgotten Pools, there were only three of the four spores that were spawned, so unfortunately I had to leave there. But any but any of the two other oasises also have uh, these uh, fungal spores. The next quest is going to be to collect Snapjaw turtle shells from one of the other oasises, or oasis, whatever the plural is. So even if you don't get it the first time, it's okay. You'll just pick them up from there. So leaving uh, the crossroads, we're going to head northeast and deal with the Disrupt the Attacks quest. On the way, we'll also be killing plane striders for their beaks for that one hunting quest. And also any raptors that are here for their heads for the other quest. Here, northeast of the crossroads, we're going to be killing these thorn weepers over here. Here we're doing the supplies for the crossroads quest. Somebody's already killed some of these mobs here, so I'm going to try and take advantage of that. And I got it. I'm just going to book it out of here. Okay, now that we've got uh, the Razor Main quests complete and the ones from the Plane Starters, we're going to go ahead and turn these in. Oh, we didn't even level that quest. Thought we would.
Next off, we're going to be killing these zebras. So now that we're at the stagnant oasis, we're going to pick up our last mushroom. And I wish I had aquatic form, but I don't yet. You're going to want to plant these dried seeds right here at this bubbling fissure over here. Be careful with these snap jaws because they are aggressive and kind of a high level for us. Oh, our first uh, crossroads raid of the day. I'm so happy that Blizzard decided to put level 40 guards there with level 60 elite quest givers. I do not understand that. I certainly hope my quest completers aren't killed. Stinking alliance. I don't know why this place is always attacked so much. Please fill me in, because I've never played Alliance. But once you turn in the Fungal Spores quest, you'll be given a timed quest to go back to Thunder Bluff after his little cutscene here. Lucky us, we're gonna hearth. Because I'm cheap like that. This is also where the uh, bun bundle of hides that we got is turned in, right over here. And there's another place to go and turn in, right by the skinning guy, I guess. No, it's the Wind Rider. Right here. Crossroads next. Okay. Also, if you're a skinner like me, at the place where uh, you, the leather working place in Thunder Bluff, there's a quest here to turn in 12 light leathers. Very easy, very nice. So here we are on the spirit rise. Oh, what to get. Four stamina. Now that we've completed the Thunder Bluff quests, let's fly back to the crossroads. Next up, I think we're going to go to Ratchet. Just because we're a little too low for the rest of these quests over here. Actually, we could do the Prowler Claws quest. Alright, we'll do that over on our way to Ratchet, because there's some mobs there, apparently. Now that we're back in the stagnant oasis, we're going to kill these snap jaws for their shells. I believe that they have a 100% drop rate. The only thing that sucks about them is they, have a, they can put a debuff on you that reduces your chance to hit by 35%, which really sucks. Also, there's going to be some coal car that are going to be patrolling the area. You're going to always want to keep a constant watch for them, because they can hurt. Let's see what I pl what our play time is. Five hours, fifty-eight minutes, and thirty-three minutes. This level. It's all right. 